I think you're questioning a little bit our, all of our intelligence, Rahul, when you say try and equate what Bangladesh uh, with what's happening within India opposed to Muslims. Did, did anyone try to claim that India does not want good relations with any Muslim countries? India has had very good relations. No, but Shri, she raised under the issue of terrorism and you said you didn't want can to I, discuss it. Because can, if you can, said can, that, I, can I, if you allow me? Yes. Uh, with UAE, with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we're talking about the internal discourse within India and the, the Prime Minister Modi making it clear through Citizenship Amendment Act, through what they did in Kashmir, that this country is going to play host to Hindus and this is going to be a land for the Hindus where their interests are promoted and Muslims are subjugated. You see that coming through articles which have been written in the New York Times, in Time magazine, everywhere else and what you see is a lot of people within India talking about it Madam. and showing it. Madam, so as I said, I think I will really seriously have to probably excuse myself from a discussion which is, which is, not, which is going to be a bit on what do you want to talk to me about terrorism? Can you speak to me uh, about it? Uh, tell me. What do you, ask me a question and I will no. answer you. The question is this. Is there a possibility that some of the terror organizations that are run from Pakistan mm -hmm. are actually acted against by the Pakistani government? For example, someone like a Dawood Ibrahim, a Hafiz mm -hmm. Saeed, who continue to live inside Pakistan. If action were taken, there is okay, a general so, uh, Rahul, desire okay. for peace mm -hmm. in India if those terrorists weren't allowed to operate Listen, freely on Pakistani. Listen, I am so. all for informed discussions, but I am truly not for uninformed discussions. Do you know where Hafiz Saeed is? Is he roaming around freely? Has he been convicted and arrested? Yes, he has. Your talking points are a bit old, I'm afraid. Right? Can you pause for a second? Lahore, do you know about the Lahore bombing? Mm -hmm. Do you know that your country's hands were found all over the place and the cell was found within, uh, you know, organizations uh, supported by RAW? Do you know about this person called Yadav, who's in Pakistani custody? and is a declared raw agent propagating violence and terrorism inside Pakistan and then you go on the UNSC and want to drum the terrorism drum because you want to use this as a national you know uh, you in some ways I think India draws its identity from being against terrorism by pro pro but propagating terrorism within the region so to the outside world against terrorism within the country within the region